So, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Today we're going to do a whip and chat. And, yeah, I put some paper on the window. So the sun's just glaring right in here. Oh my gosh, man, that's right. <laughs> yeah, sunlight's great and everything, but when you're trying to shoot a whip and chat and... It's just like right in your face. It's just holy cow. All right. <laughs> okay, we're working on uh, Diamond Art Club's "I Am" by Ravine Phelan. Okay, dragon. Uh, diamond shape round, twenty by twenty-eight inches, fifty-one by seventy-one centimeters. Uh, Twenty-nine colors. Oops and two ABs, which is Aurora Borealis, 129 and 137. So anything under 150 would be considered an AB. And it just has those two drills. Drill colors have an extra special coating, which uh, just gives you a, a little bit more bling on your canvas. So. All right, 498. All right, so we're just working on a red. Here, there we go. Hopefully, glare's not too bad. I can't really tell <laughs> from this angle. But yeah, I had to put paper on the window. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it's like easier to record at night, but yeah, I have time to diamond paint today too, so <laughs> in the morning it, yeah, there's some clouds in the sky, but it's a fairly sunny day. We had a thunderstorm last night, so. Yeah, all good. Yeah, just like, eh. TV kind of isn't all that great. There was a SWAT movie on AMC or whatever. Some specialty channel we have with a satellite. Yeah, that was... I swear I heard like Linkin Park and the soundtrack just must be like a top 40 <laughs> hit list. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And there's Samuel L. Jackson and Colin Farrell and some chick from the, some woman from the Fast and the Furious franchise by the looks of it. Yeah, it's just one of those high cost <laughs> Hollywood movies from a few years ago. Yeah, it's okay. It looked to be a pretty good movie, but yeah, it's just basically Hollywood uh, making SWAT look like a picnic to be a part of. And yeah. I don't think SWAT is being in a SWAT squad is uh, just straightforward as they're making it look it to be. But it's a movie, it was entertainment, and uh, it's the weekend, so. Somebody had never seen SWAT before, they have the chance to watch it now if they're watching AMC. So, I don't even know what AMC stands for. I can tell you. It's where The Walking Dead has been on. Is that ending? I thought I saw like a commercial or an ad, and I saw the one guy one part of the cast from The Walking Dead it must have been an ad the final season or something 
I don't know if they're ending it or what's going on. I don't really followed it too heavily. <laughs> it looks like an interesting show. Like I watched the pilot of the watched a couple episodes of the first season of The Walking Dead, but after that, yeah, I just never really followed through watching it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I like that kind of stuff, but I don't know. I just do other things. <laughs> it's, don't get too invested in television series. Ended up talking about uh, books that I've read or heard of or were interesting yesterday. So if any of those caught your interest, then you're welcome, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, I kind of like the J.D. Robb and Death series, so... Yeah, that was the brunt of, that kind of kicked off that book conversation. And, yeah, I listened to e-books as well. But that's where I listened to Blade Runner and The Andromeda Strain. Yeah, a couple other audiobooks, e-books, audiobooks. Same thing, I think they're... I think they're called more audiobooks, but yeah, I have like 10 credits sitting in my Audible account, and yeah, you have to download the books to your phone or streaming device, and that takes up memory, so can only have like so many books. I can only uh, have like one book at a time. But if I ever did switch to like a iPhone or something, which uh, we might be doing, because uh, this phone's a few years old and could use an update, it still works and all that, but yeah, <laughs> every few years or every year they come out with a new phones that are faster and can do a lot more supposedly and then the older your phones get uh, less is supported or works efficiently <laughs> or doesn't work as efficiently some apps probably won't even work on older phones or tablets, etc. So they kind of force you to upgrade, which is kind of. That's got to be tedious for a lot of people who don't like buying phones constantly. Yeah, I've been Android for quite a few years. A couple, yeah, Samsung Androids. So. I could go to iPhone, my parents use iPhone, so. And I hear the cameras are good on the iPhones, so. If I can still record YouTube, uh, these whip and chats and stuff off an iPhone and do the same thing, then uh, that's good enough for me. Just hit record and uh, yeah, just do whipping chats and color and chats. Uh, doesn't bother me too much. I can learn uh, how to use an iPhone. All good to me. Just as long as it is basically a phone. Yeah, it's safe to say that uh, my phone has become uh, my laptop in a sense. 
or an easier way to get onto the internet. Yeah, I can do Google searches pretty fast. Yeah, instead of turning on the laptop, having to remember my Windows password and waiting for it to load up. Oh, man, that's ridiculous. Nothing against computers, but yeah, my laptop's like a few years old. And yeah, it takes so much time to start up now. I could have like a Google search done in like five minutes instead of like 15 minutes waiting for my laptop to start up. Yeah. But yeah, it's just not easy as uh, getting rid of a laptop. You basically have to wipe the hard drive or like put a sledgehammer to your hard drive to prevent information from being taken off of it if you're no longer using it. Put a really powerful magnet to it to destroy the information. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's a more calmer way to wipe a hard drive, but don't know. Mm. Laptop still works, but I just... It's just really sitting there. Yeah, it's just faster with a smartphone. But someday, yeah, I'd like to get a powerful computer and uh, do VR chat kind of stuff. Yeah, I just added uh, my whip and chats and color and chats on my phone here. I have a video editing app and then I can export it to YouTube for upload. So, yeah, keep it simple kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you know, yeah, eventually. One thing at a time, but as long as I can uh, get weapon chats and color and chats up to keep the channel active, then that's all good for me. Yeah, don't have to go rush and uh, get everything. <laughs> yeah, just take one step at a time and yeah, enjoy what I'm doing. So yeah. That's the most important part. <clears throat> all right, yeah, this red's just kind of scattered all around you. <laughs> Great blinds on the windows here, two sheets of butcher paper or whatever, packing paper, <laughs> courier wrap paper or whatever. Just have a couple rolls here in the studio, so just tore off a strip and just uh, grab some painter's tape and put it on the window because the sun was just glaring right through. This is my second time trying to record. I just deleted the previous <laughs> trial. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't sure if like three quarters of the footage was like glare or not. So just deleted and just started over. <laughs> now we're good. Mm. Yeah, my dad is working downstairs in the shop, but. Shouldn't be too bad, but you never know. You do hear some slight background noise. It's probably like a saw or a drill of some sort. <laughs> but, yep. 
No, oh, he's got to do his stuff, and then, yep, yeah, I just came out here because TV is terrible, and, yeah, diamond painting, so I'd rather be diamond painting most of the time. <laughs> Truth be told. Yeah, I color too, but, yeah, that's not as... Not something I just jump right to. <laughs> Time and painting's more my thing, but yeah, coloring's nice every once in a while as well. But yeah, I gotta keep the coloring up on the channel as well. Yeah, there's more colors to work with with diamond painting than a. Uh, Color by number for some pictures. <laughs> yeah, and you don't have to worry about a marker dying on you. <laughs> yeah, you just have these, uh, I don't know, acrylic kind of pieces of plastic that you just place on glue <laughs> pre-printed uh, picture <laughs> I don't know it, it's a really cool craft in my opinion maybe tedious to some people but I don't know I love doing it <laughs> Guess I I like this kind of meticulous work. It's detailed and specific, organized, and yeah, you can approach it any way you want. Really, and there's really no time stipulation to be finished at a specific time. Well, in my case, anyway. Well, the world I used to know was for my brother, and I gave it to him yesterday, so, yep, he got that, my dad framed that, and, uh, yep, gave it to my brother yesterday, so. Yep, so my brother, my nephew, and... My sister-in-law each have a diamond painting for me, so my nephew has a Deadpool uh, square drill canvas, yeah, squ square drill kit that I put together for him. Yep, that was before I jumped onto YouTube. Uh, I did the world you snow by JoJo's art for my brother. Yeah, the tiger. Yeah, that's featured here on Echoes of Color. I was a whip in chat. And, uh, did a Paris-themed, uh, canvas for my sister-in-law. It had the Eiffel Tower in it. Yeah, she likes Paris, so... Yeah, I just got her a Paris themed pink Parisian trees, I believe, was what it, the canvas was called. So, yeah. So, I've given like four canvases to people. <laughs> Made four canvases to people, and that was just basically got me started with diamond painting. So. Now, on Golden Shores and Space for Reflection by Chuck Pinson, and I Am Here by Ravine Phelan. Yep, these are just canvases I just enjoy doing. Yep. On Golden Shores was a square drill. Yeah, just finished that one recently on the channel here. And... Uh, 
space for reflection I did before going on YouTube. That was another round. Yep, yeah. and I am by Ravine Fell, and here is a round uh, drill. So, yeah, it's kind of nice going back to a round after being on a square canvas. I, I'll work with either drill shape, round or square. Round seems easier and faster though, but yeah, squares are okay. Square drills are pretty good too, so I'll work with either, so doesn't bother me. I'm more about the picture, more about the image, what the image is. So, yeah. Don't worry, I, this channel just won't be about Diamond Heart Club. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing other canvases from other diamond painting companies eventually. Yep. This will be my last DIC for a bit. So, yep. Be on this canvas for a bit and then, uh, I'll switch it up to Treasure Studio Zerts. Yeah, I keep mentioning it just so it's like, yeah, so I have somewhat of an idea of what is coming up on the radar. Okay, I think that's all of 498. Down arrow. Awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna get these drills back in here. <laughs> container without incident. That's pretty interesting. Okay. Kind of nice that I got a bigger tray going here. Oh, it's kind of cool. Has a funnel and everything, so. Or a spout, whatever you want to call it. Okay, H. Capital H. Jeez, I'm still getting glare from the sun. Uh, 815. Wow, another shade of red. <laughs> All good, no worries. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of reds, orange, yellows. Yeah, some purple, some blue. And it's gonna be a night sky too, so there's gonna be a lot of dark. Okay, so. Here's 815, the DMC color. Yeah, 815. All right, all right, and capital H. Green capital H, here we go. Awesome. Yep, uh, I've seen this canvas finished a couple times, so yeah, so it's gonna be pretty beautiful piece. And this piece means a lot. It means different things to a few different people that I've watched whip and chats or unboxings for this canvas. So Yeah, not only are the colors enchanting and the fact that it's a dragon, it, yeah. I am in itself just, yeah, uh, individuality, being different, uh, appreciating our abilities, respecting differences of others, yeah, just, Yeah, a lot of themes just ring through my head just uh, for the name of the canvas and yeah, just the general 
sight first look at the canvas. Our individual knowledge, experiences, past, history, Yeah, there's a lot of factors that can go into this piece. A lot of themes or ideas, uh, viewpoints. So it's a pretty impressive piece. That's an absolutely an absolute joy to work on. Yeah, I could probably sit here for hours and just uh, build this piece up and <laughs> drill by drill. And it'll be incredible in the end. Yep. Just like a few other canvases. Yeah, every once in a while you have to kind of change uh, themes or, yeah, I can't do landscapes all the time, so <laughs> I could if I wanted to, like, but yeah, on YouTube and you have a channel and yeah, just kind of have to change it up every once in a while for sure. So yeah, no big deal. That's why I bought this canvas. It <laughs> caught my eye. It was, uh, the colors were fantastic, or are fantastic. Yeah. It's not picking up off the... There, let's put it back in the tray then, fine. <laughs> not picking up off the canvas. Grr. <laughs> wasn't in any of the adhesive. Yeah, today's color to possibly spill or drop is uh, any shade of red. It's basically today's color <laughs> of drill to spill or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me, okay. Yep, I work next weekend and it's night shift, so. Yeah. <laughs> Be sleeping during the day again. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, night. So. <laughs> Yep, so I'll diamond paint when I can, or color, whenever I can, so I'll just do what I can, so. Yeah, for night shift I have to sleep during the day, so, or to work at night, so. Yeah, I can't get away with time and painting during the day because I sleep for... I usually sleep better on night shift than I do day shift because I like staying up late. <laughs> when I work days, yeah, I'm weird. <laughs> I'm a night owl. Kind of... Yeah, not a morning person, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I have to be at work for like 7 a.m. when I work days. I don't know, it's like a 12 hour day. I know. Nights are quieter during the day. You can just 
hear constant radio chat all day. It's just... I don't know. I like night shift a little better than day shift. There's a lot more people around. Night shift, you can kind of have a boosted focus and not worry about as many people being around. Other staff. Yeah, but with night shift, you like hear different sounds <laughs> that you wouldn't normally hear during the day. Like water going through pipes or yeah, stuff settling. <laughs> Or air conditioning going and turning on and off at certain intervals. Yeah, you just hear a lot more when uh, it's quiet, when nobody else is in the building. Then when you do hear something off kilter, it yeah, kind of gets your attention a lot more than. Uh, Probably a sound made during the day. Yeah, sometimes it's just nice to have that uh, peace and quiet every once in a while. Yeah, especially at work. <laughs> just, yeah, I can do my own thing and, uh, yeah, stay busy, of course, but just not have that extra unnecessary noise like somebody yelling or just radio chatter even though I do have a radio on me it's part of my uniform basically so <laughs> it's the way I see it anyway but I don't know, I can be a pretty quiet guy. Yeah, silence really doesn't bother me too much, so. <laughs> it's almost easier if it's quiet. You're just not as on edge or hyper aware of what's around you when it's quieter. Because uh, there's a, another staff member at, it sounds like they're saying my name, like, I had to like double check, like, who got paged, <laughs> that sounds like my name. Yeah, it's... Yeah, usually I hear my full name called over the radio just to alleviate the confusion or misunderstanding because, yeah, I swear I've answered the radio a couple times and it wasn't for me. <laughs> I'm looking for so-and-so. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Happens to me, like, almost every time on I'm on day shift. It's just... Uh, so annoying. Just constant radio chatter during the day. Oh, this tanker's here. Can you come to the office? Not so and so. What's in this silo? And oh, it's just like From like 7 a.m. to uh, at least 5 p.m. when upper management leaves. <laughs> Supervisors and stuff. Uh, of course, I get paged because I have to do make certain connections to the silos that are in my department. Yeah, it's just a. Uh, Simple pipe fitting, 
<laughs> an adjustable pipe fitting, so it's not too bad. And then, yeah, <laughs> I don't mind that. That's like five minutes of uh, my time to be able to do my job, so. Yeah, but if I was in another department and I was getting paged all the time, I'd just be getting slightly annoyed. I feel like I'd be getting, not be getting any of my stuff done. From like, my own job, <laughs> my own duties. Just being paged all the time. <laughs> Jeff, can you do this? Jeff, can you load that truck? Be, oh man, I... I'd start losing it. <laughs> Can somebody else do this? <laughs> We're shipping. <laughs> like, we're just the shipping staff. It's unless somebody else's job. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Yeah, quite a few reds in this. section of canvas. Yeah. Oh, Dad's working with the bandsaw downstairs. All good. He's got to do what he's got to do. Right. Shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, uh, where I work now is just miles better than where I was before. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it's a job and it's paying the bills, so... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I gotta be thankful for that. Just uh, take small, tedious annoyances in stride, which really aren't too annoying, to be honest, because ignoring the radio, if it's not for me, is. not too hard. <laughs> but yeah, that. Awareness is still kind of there. I think it's just like my kind of nature. When I do have like a communication system basically on me. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, for 12 hours. Yeah, you do kind of have to be on your toes just in case there's a all for you. And if you do miss like a radio call, I usually just come to you to check on you anyway, so. <laughs> but oh boy, does it ever suck when the power goes out. Maintenance has to come and reset a couple of components of the line. Yeah, a guy that took over from me. Uh, yeah, I just worked Wednesday, Thursday last week. Yeah, because of the way of my rotation. So I stayed a bit extra to help the guy coming in kind of get settled after power power outage probably figured it out but yeah just basically got the line reset and uh yeah i just got him restarted to an extent and i went home or yeah i went home slept for a couple hours and then went to my uh maintenance appointment my car maintenance appointment yeah, uh, 
yeah, I did a whip and chat, like, with just three hours of sleep later that night. Yeah, that was a couple of whip and chats ago, but, yep. <laughs> Yeah, that was, yeah, I really needed to get the oil changed in my car, so that was a pretty vital uh, four hours. <laughs> that was a pretty vital appointment that I just booked online. That's pretty handy, actually. Usually one who likes uh, doing that kind of stuff over the phone, but if I can do it online... Yeah, that's what I did for my haircut the other day. Yeah, booked it online. And, yep, yeah, get text, reminder, and uh, an email about my appointment so I don't forget or miss it. So Yeah, so there's some pretty good ways to ensure you can get appointments booked that you need for essential services. Well, a haircut you can kind of, yeah, wait it out if, uh, yeah, the schedule is a little crazy. But yeah, most people, yeah, waiting a year and a half just to get a haircut. It's, yeah, that's quite an adjustment <laughs> we're at 42 okay <laughs> still got a glare even with all the paper on this window right. whoops uh, rocking my phone a bit here sorry about that yeah <laughs> Who doesn't hit their phone while filming <laughs> on YouTube? <laughs> Get that nice uh, shaky interaction. <laughs> Holy cow. It's <laughs> a lot of red. <laughs> I've seen a lot of capital H's, and then there's probably more capital L's, whatever. That color is, and I'll see eventually, but yeah, that's the next uh, drill color to L for the way that I'm doing, yeah, the order that I'm doing the drills. Yep, drill by drill. Yep, then equal sign, and then, yeah, be back to yellows, and then... Yeah, uh, this canvas will come together pretty efficiently. Oh wow, like good three quarters of this canvas is going to be like reds, oranges, and yellows. And then, yeah, there's going to be certainly some dark patches with uh, the night sky. Yeah, top left hand corner definitely. It's, yeah, it's going to be a lot of oranges and yellows some slight blues for a while here for a good portion of this canvas yeah <laughs> so. yeah bottom to top yeah so I usually like doing canvases so
Yeah, if I did top the bottom, then... Yeah, wouldn't take much to... Yeah, i just roll up the... Just have the canvas rolled up a different way, that's all. But... Yeah, it's like doing bottom to top, because then... Yeah, I just start rolling up the bottom part, drills out, and uh, yeah, just kind of treat it like a scroll. Treat the canvas like a scroll. <laughs> Roll the bottom to keep the the finished sections out of the way, and then yeah, just keep working upward. Yeah, but the beauty of uh, everybody have, uh, working on that canvas individually is they can do it how, however they want, so. Yeah, it's the beauty of diamond painting. Yeah, you get the canvas done eventually, it just... In various different ways, so. It's great. Some people who probably just uh, choose the section randomly on the canvas, just go from there and then just uh, do the canvas that way. Yeah, I just find it easy to do section by section gradually and just form a complete unified picture along the way, unified image along the way. But yeah, that's just me, so. <laughs> As usual, you could say I have OCD intensity tendencies. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have uh, traces of OCD. <sighs> but don't we all like doing stuff in a certain way? Yeah. <laughs> it can either be habitual or just comfortable doing something a certain way. Oh, I probably have to change this wax soon. Yeah, in 15 inch, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to change my wax. <laughs> Having trouble picking up drills. <clears throat> oh, it won't take a long. Or what if I just, uh, just kind of move the wax around between my fingers? I could try to put it back in. I heard one content creator does the worth the shot. I could try it. There we go. Watch it's back exactly the way that I pulled it out. That'd be hilarious. Eh, uh, okay. That worked. I have like tons of wax, but I don't know, I'll try anything once. Okay. Well, just kinda have a toothpick and I just pulled the wax out and then just a couple seconds just uh, kneaded it with my finger and slid it back in. I'm just making sure it's not popping back out, which it usually does. Okay, like a charm. Okay. Mm. It's not like I have like a different wax option like readily available. I don't think I have sticky tack or anything, so I'm not sure about the residue. 
any residue, if at all, would come from a sticky tag. I know there are different methods, different uh, uh, solutions uh, to put in your Yeah, like sticky tack and yeah, anything besides wax. Glue dots, I've heard. Yeah. Sounds like you have to put quite a few glue dots in the tip to get that method going. So, oh, I just kind of like the the wax since. Yeah, I just kind of push it into the pad, and then, yeah, instead of just uh, going through a whole bunch of glue dots, yeah, I just use the wax that comes with the kits, <laughs> yeah, pink wax or whatever, I don't know, it picks up the drills, that's all I'm really concerned about, uh, I'd rather be diamond painting than a uh, Worrying about filling my applicator pen all the time. Yeah, <laughs> a little more productive to be uh, placing drills on canvas than worrying about what's in the end of my applicator pen or be filling it all the time. It's kind of the goal. <laughs> it's diamond painting, not. <laughs> Wax filling. <laughs> yeah, wax or glue dots. Yeah, stuff does wear out. It's, the drills might get dirty, or it's just the tactability of the tactileness of the wax just, yeah, wears out or dries out after a while. Just being exposed to the air. Or it may end up on drills. I haven't really seen too much wax going on to uh, drills with applicating after application, but yeah. If you're like just starting, yeah, if you just have like a new glob of wax in your tip of your pen, you might have to press it in a couple times to make sure it like stays in there. And you might get the odd um, bit that comes out of the tip of the pen at the start because the wax is so fresh. So, oh, it's all good. Basically, yeah, diamond painting. Just find a method that's a method or materials that you're comfortable with. Materials that you're comfortable with. Yeah, it can be trial and error a lot of the time. But yeah, but once you kind of get an idea of uh, your kind of materials and a routine, yeah, diamond painting becomes second nature. Yeah, and if you have a pretty good hardware. If you have a favorite pen or uh, multi placers, etc. Yeah, if you have dependable equipment that you don't have to worry about replacing all the time, then yeah, you're set to go as well. So, yeah. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there may be times where you're kind of having to bear with what you have until. Uh, replacement hardware comes along etc there you're just excited about trying out a new diamond painting pen that you ordered yeah you just kind of have to go like eh, this applicator pen will have to do for now until i get my new one <laughs> uh probably not looking to get 
a whole ton of these acrylic pens, these fancy pens. Uh, that's not really my mentality of uh, for that part of diamond painting. That this pen was a gift, so and it means a lot. Uh, to me for the channel of course yeah I did kind of explain that when I first caught the pen so but I could probably get like another color pen like like another fancier pen but yeah you can really only use like one at a time like have one in your hand at a time but I do understand the yeah you might want a different color or... yeah and certain pens might have different uh, attachments like a multi placer instead of like a single placer yeah some diamond painters just like a multi placing naturally so yeah you could have a one end that has like a three multiplacer tip or more and then you just grab that for large patches of uh, color blocking and then yeah that makes sense I, I understand that yeah that's fine but I'm a single placer so yeah <laughs> if I just have like a basic down to earth single placing pen then uh yeah i'm set to go <laughs> ready to diamond paint but yeah if you want different colors of pens and different styles yeah work with what you're comfortable with because you're going to be diamond painting for quite a amount of time if you're really into this hobby so yeah nothing wrong with like having a collection of pens by any means it's like all part of it it's like a necessary piece of hardware like yeah oh a couple extra pens yeah just in case something happens of course but to the pen that you're working with now but yeah but the other half of the hobby could be yeah people just like collecting diamond painting pens they just like having various uh pens to work with and display yeah it's all part of the hobby all part of the craft Yeah, the only difference is that if you're just collecting pens and not diamond painting <laughs> as much as you could be, that's, yeah, it's like people trying to start out diamond painting and they can't get a fancy pen because they're all gone. Yeah, that could be a, <laughs> could be a little frustrating. Yeah. Somebody wants a fancy pen to work with if they're not exactly a fan of the kit pens kit applicator pens yeah everyone should at least have every diamond painter should at least have a fancy pen to work with but yeah teach their own if yeah if you like collecting pens then applicator pens fancy acrylic pens like this one then yeah go for it by all means yeah just don't forget the diamond paint <laughs> don't take all the pens I want a second one but yeah that's not up to, that's not up to me though it's, like, it's all good Ned, do what you desire you're helping out a small business, most likely. <laughs> most likely. 
Most of the time these are handmade pens, so hand carved, etc. I think this one was hand turned. So all good, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about me prattling on about uh diamond painters having twenty pens or whatever. Yeah. Don't <laughs> yeah, don't worry about me. <laughs> yeah, just do what you're comfortable with. All good. As long as you are diamond painting though. <laughs> it's like Yeah, sure some of the pens with other people. <laughs> Or, heck, give somebody a pen. It's <laughs> probably starting out or wants one. <laughs> uh, I'm good for now. Like, yeah, I'm glad I got this as a gift. It's all good. So, yeah. I'll probably just keep using it. Because, yeah, <laughs> it was a gift. So, definitely, uh, yeah, I'm going to use it. Okay, I think I covered all the edges. Yep. Okay, let's go get this back on the tray. Yeah, at this point, I probably couldn't afford to get a pen right now. <laughs> Another acrylic pen. Yeah, that's okay. As long as this one keeps going. Yeah, there's a bit of wear and tear on it, but... Yeah, it's just a brass tip, but yeah, I know those everlasting tips are out there that are stainless steel, I think, <laughs> or whatever. But those are pretty popular too. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's all part of diamond painting. Like, yeah, it's a lot of tools out there that you can use or acquire. Oh. Oh, 814. Yeah. Capital L. Okay. What's this? Oh, still a uh, darker red. Still? Yeah, that's a really dark red. Alright. Kind of like in the maroon family. Okay. So, that's 814. Yeah. If it shows up all that great. <laughs> We have for time. Oh, we're at an hour already. All right, so you've been watching uh, Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Uh, as always, I put my uh, Facebook profile name in the description below my uh, Echoes of Color Facebook business page link and my Instagram. So yeah. Get this uploaded and uh, keep plugging away at this canvas as we go. So, all the best for your crafting endeavors, uh, your search for new canvases and other crafts, and yeah, your search for possibly your next favorite uh, diamond painting pen. Yeah, just don't take too much into account about what I said about having 20 diamond penning pens it, it's okay if you like doing that there's nothing wrong with that it's your money do what you want with it but yeah just make sure some other diamond painters can at least get a starter pen if they want for a fancy pen so but yeah teach their own it's all good it's not a complaint or anything it's just yeah some stuff can be hard to come by these days but Oh, it's patience and, yeah, just going for it sometimes, so. But anyway, 
keep you for too long. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>